Hey guys, today we are going to be building the Bot Kits 1 Pound Combat Robotics Kit. It is known as the Candy Wasp Kit, and it's basically the little brother to the D2 3 Pound Robot Kit. The assembly is very similar, but sometimes it can get confusing. We're going to go step by step, from start to finish, with a span of about 3 videos. First being with the basic construction, the second video will be the electronics, and the third will be finishing everything up and testing. So let's begin. Within the kit, you will find a parts list that states everything that the kit comes with. You're going to want to make sure that you look through this list and check that everything is there. Like I did, I laid every single thing out. And I just did that to make sure that uh, I forgot nothing inside the box. Because for how they're set up, maybe you could just grab all the parts, put them on the table, and one of your screws gets stuck in here, and you can't finish your build without that. So, we are going to start with our basic drive, and then we'll go from there. We're going to start with one of our base parts, and this part right here, we are going to call the, or the back of the robot. Where the two screws are, we're going to consider this the back, alright? And this smooth surface right here is going to be considered the bottom. Right here where the motors go is going to be considered the top. So we're going to put the back of our robot in the back, okay? Now, we're going to get each motor and their carbon-fused nylon holders. And we're going to put these onto the robot. So what you want to do is put the screw holes right here closest to the outside frames of the robot. We're going to put two normal ones in the back, another normal one right here, and then the one that holds our power switch in the front facing downwards, and we'll explain, I'll explain that later. So, to start we're going to pass the wires through, and these click in very easily. It slides right through, it's like a puzzle piece, ready? We're going to go, click it through, okay? And this is going to slide to about halfway, three-fourths down the motor. And it's going to go right here. And these holes right here are going to line up with the holes that we're going to mount them to, okay? Then this motor is going to stick out just ever so slightly. We're going to repeat that for the next... Put our wires through. Click the motor in. All right. Ever so slightly. Good. And we can work on some wiring once we get these in. Our next motor has our wires through. Okay. Got our last one right here. And like I said, this part is going to be facing down. Okay, and now for the purpose of the video, I'm going to show you the assembly without the wires, just so you can really see what's going on, okay? Okay, so going over our basic assembly, we are going to start by grabbing one of our main body parts. We are going to consider the spot where the two screws are, the back, alright? And this part is going to be the top or the bottom. And this is going to be the center, all right? So we're going to start with, this is our bottom piece. So we're going to set that down. This way with the screw holes in the back. Then we are going to take our motors that we have, and we're going to insert those. So we insert those into these four spots, supported with our carbon fiber motor mounts that we have right here. So we're going to put our two main ones in the back and then the one with the power switch in the front facing downwards and we'll explain why later. So what you're going to do is just take your motor, slide it right in, it slides on there and it'll stay so your motor can't spin. You're going to have this one, you want your screw holes right here facing outwards because how they are mounted later you'll see with the screws. So we're going to put the head of the motor right where the gap is and that one's going to line up with where this is. Next. Same thing, slide the motor in, the motor right there, and the slider right there. We're going to take our next motor and put it in, slide that in there. 
Now this is going to be downwards. We are going to slide our motor in. There. And right there. So this is the main body style that it's going to be like. Quite simple, not too difficult, but sometimes you can just get mixed up, as we said earlier. Next, we're going to take the top panel, click it in right on top. We have enough where all the motors are sticking out just a little bit. As you can see, they're just right there, just so you can get your wheels on. Next, we're going to take our Ant 3 chassis screw, quantity 4 plus 8. And we're going to put those on Here's our screws. We're going to take these ones and go around the corners. So we have two of them on top and two of them on bottom. You just screw these up. Now we have this as our solid body. Next what you're going to do is you're going to line up these motor mounts. We're going to take our small screws that we have and screw those right into the mounts. And as you see, now we have our four screws here. These mounts are not going anywhere, neither are your motors. We're going to switch over and do the other side now. Okay, so now that this is done, the next thing we are going to do is attach our wedge. So, let's get all of our parts for that. We have our wedge, our two bracket pieces. Main brackets. You're going to grab these screws. You have two of the longer button head ones and four of the smaller ones. And then we have our M3 um, screws that's going to go straight into the wedge. So we can move this. To show you how the wedge is going to line up, this one goes right here and this mount goes right here. So when flipping that over, that's exactly how we want to do our mount. So we're going to put one right there, and one right there. Okay? So we're going to open up our pack of screws here. Put them all down. So how we're going to do this is our first bracket with a long screw, okay? And it's going to be threaded right here. So you're going to screw that in. But then you're going to need to grab some sort of pliers because we have a lock nut that is going to go on the other end of it. And what I prefer to do is loosen them up a little bit so that they're not all the way screwed in. And the reason for that is so this can bounce up and down so that your wedge is always scraping the ground. So it's not always set in that one position. We're going to repeat this step for the next bracket part. This one right here. Both of our wedge parts are loose, and we're going to find our mounting spot. As we said, the power switch is going to be on bottom, so we're going to have our bot set up like this. We're going to set aside our four screws here, 
So this is going to line up directly right here. We're going to screw in these four screws to the tapped holes on the bottom. Now we are going to attach our wedge. We are going to take these M3 screws. And make sure you have all of them. And then line up your wedge and start screwing them in. Now that's starting to look like a robot. Remind you of somebody? So, now, before we go any further, we are going to move on to our next video. It's going to take some slight uh, disassembly, but we are going to wire up our motors. So now that we know how it goes together, you'll be pros when putting it back together, you're going to Take off your mounting bracket screws, take your motors out, and check out our next video for how to wire them up and all of our speed controller plans and how to get this bot moving.